Now I'll talk on ultrasound guided infraclavicular brachial plexus block. As we all know, it is a cord level block and the lateral, medial and posterior cord are targeted over here. And the main important landmark structure are coracoid process, clavicle, pectoralized major, pectoralized minor and of course three cords. Sauter et al. did MRI study on volunteers and what he found, what they found that the medial cord lies over three to six o'clock positions, posterior cord lies on six to nine o'clock positions and lateral cord lies on nine to twelve o'clock position in relation to the second part of axillary artery. And this end is this end is uh, caudal and this is cranial end. This block is suitable for uh, a surgery of elbow, forearm and hands. The main important thing is that this block is less compressible area and it's deeper block so it the coagulopathy and vessel in the path is a main contraindication or limitation and uh, when there is a plexus depth is more than 5 cm and we are utilizing linear flow they may limit this block and because the shoulder mobility is there during surgery because this does not anesthetize, anesthetize supraclavicular now suprascapular now so this may limit your block for particular surgery scanning is uh, mostly done in supine positions with arm adducted or abducted the position of probe is approximately parasagittal just inferior to the clavicle and medial to the coracoid process the the ultrasound machine setting is commonly i do is now region in high frequency linear probe in resolution mode the depth setting is commonly i use is four centimeter four to up to four to five you, you can utilize needle uh, eight centimeter short bevel needle is used and in plane approach from uh, kephalate to caudal just inferior to the clavicle and dose I commonly use is 25 to 35 ml of local anesthetic and uh, the dose generally I use is a little bit more than the supraclavicular results. The ultrasono anatomy. The main targeting structure are pack major, pack minor and axillary artery. Pulsatile anechoid axillary artery. So when you place these three things in ultrasound screen, you should you should watch, you should screen for cord. The peculiarity of this interscalene block is R3. One is now onwards, the cord will appear as hyper echoid, just like now. Unlike root division and truck. The appearance is like hyper echoic nodule. Every chord will look like this. Second thing is not every chord are identifiable. And third peculiarity is visualization of chord are not necessary for any successful block. So just these three peculiarities is very important. This is Kephalad end, this is caudal end, this is three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock and this medial cord, posterior cord, lateral cord. Let's see some other important things. When we place probe just below the clavicle and more medially, the, the picture will be like this. The cord are nearer and they are, they lies cranial to the artery. But when we go down, when we place probe little bit laterally at that time the cord will try to separate and they goes they they try to circle the artery like this so the the cord are separated from each other and they lies they try to be on caudally medial and posterior will go on caudally and when we try to utilize more laterally probe then the cord are like this 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 approach 
what we are talking about. The 6 o'clock will be the posterior cord, medial cord will be 3 o'clock and later cord will be a 9 o'clock. So now needle is, is inserted just, just below the clavicle and in between the clavicle and probe and that will pierce the pectoral major, pectoral minor and the main target is posterior cord. And we need to try to make a drug distribution like U pattern so that all cord are covered. Let's see some real picture. This is a pre-block uh, ultrasound screen. Now we can uh, give block either by a single injection that is at posterior cord at 6 o'clock position. 25 to 35 ml of local anesthetic. If spread is U-shaped, definitely the single injection is having 90% success rate. Or if we want to utilize multiple injection technique, that I, at that time I usually give 15 to 20 ml of local anesthetic at 6 o'clock positions. Somewhere here. If spread is not enough, then I redirect drug for uh, to target the lateral cord, and again I utilize 5 ml more. This is lateral cord injection and for me medial cord sometime I used to puncture like separately on muscles and I go on the top of the artery and somewhere like it. this is artery. This is artery and this is a drug that I injected just on the top of to cover the med medial, medial cord. This is vein. This is artery. So three separate one injection, two injection or three separate in injection can be utilized for this block. The main thing when signs of successful block will be like U-shaped drug distribution and compression or elevation of axillary artery. See this is before block and this is after block. The anechoid black region is local anesthetic everywhere. So if you find these picture then these are the successful, sh these are the signs of your success. Let's see some actual performance. The needle is inserted just below the clavicle and in between the probe and clavicle and ultrasound screen is like this. And on ultrasound ultrasonography screen see the artery is branching the needle is targeted on posterior cord at 6 o'clock positions and if you can visualize very well it's coming from caudally kefalet to caudally and this is posterior cord targeted a drug is is injected over this reason to cover the posterior cord that some sort of u-shape is there but still medial cord and lateral cord is over here then I redirect it uh, for lateral cord again 5 ml is injected and third separate injection is on on the top of artery puncturing in this area in between the axillary artery and axillary vein. See uh, the sonocyte will uh, will capture only one minute video that's why this there is a break. The vein is compressed over here and this is axillary artery and black black this black portion is the drug is local anesthetic. So this is how three code are targeted. Now the complications are there but see the phrenic palsy is almost nil and pneumothorax is rare in expert hand definitely because this is deeper block and having vascular area so yes uh, pearl in that arm abduction maneuver that will actually help you because that will bring the cord together and the plexus will be more closer and it allow more space for needling because this is very steeper angle block here there is two problem is one is that the vessels are there artery are branching even vein are branching number two is the steep angle that you cannot visualize needle every time so this 
arm abduction manual is very important I think one should utilize whenever needed color Doppler to visualize any vessels like this this is uh, thoracoacromial arteries coming from axillary artery and somewhere here we will find the kephalic vein is entering on the axillary vein so these two vessels and branch they actually obscure your vision and you need to be sure that you are not going in see this is my video in that if you have noticed this is a, a branch of thoraco, uh, thoracoacromial artery that branch of subclavian artery axillary artery over here and needle is going just below to this so these are the normal anatomy actually and you should be take you should uh, be careful while injecting local anesthetic drug. thank you